All right, Erica, what the hell is this? We are building a rocket stove. This is your rocket stove part with the interior insulated chimney and the barrel that brings the exhaust gases down again. The rocket stove here goes under the floor and back out right near where it starts. We've got a couple of cleanouts located just in case we need to clean ash out of the pipe. And we have two innovations going on in this rocket stove project. One is installing a subfloor rocket heater. We've done in-floor radiant heat before, um, but in this case we wanted to maintain the option of having a wood floor. Uh, the shed originally had an earthen floor and then it was dug out and a suspended plywood floor was put in. And so we're putting the rocket stove in and returning it to the suspended plywood subfloor, which gives people the option of using it as a shed without having to worry too much about the rocket stove itself or of eventually putting a wooden floor, like a hardwood floor on it, if they wanted to use it as a studio space or living space or something like that. Um, and the other innovation is this thing. Um, we created a bypass valve. So this whole thing is connected in a loop. And when you are warming up the system for the first time of the season, or if you're like we are now in summertime and you don't necessarily want to heat the whole floor, you maybe want to have the stove on for a little bit in the evening or warm up, like use it for a tea stove or something like that. You can send the exhaust straight out the short path. Um, less resistance means less chance of a smoke back into the house. And it gives you a chance to really warm up that internal chimney for good draft before you switch it to warming up the entire floor. Um, so that's kind of exciting. It's been working on the test fire so far, and we'll see how it works once we get all the thermal lights installed in the system. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com, where we talk about alternative building, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Mm -hmm.